and you end strong. So the audience will come back to you again next time. There's something in that show that they want to hear. And you put it on, you're putting on a show. It's just like a television show. It's like, you know, American Idol or any other kind of show. You, uh, even uh, on MSNBC, all the talk shows they do. You start out with a big issue, in the middle you have some other stuff going on, you end with something, and then you close out with either a funny thing, or something to remember, or something they can take home with. Uh, we close out our shows with information that you may not have uh, heard from other places. We give out, you know, community announcements. Hey, this is going on in the community, you need to go and check it out. But we start out, bang! In the middle is all the other stuff that's going on, and the phone calls and the people participating. You get the audience engaged, and then that throughout the year broadcast, and then um, you, 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 know, you put your program together and you end strong. It's all about a show. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are elements of that that are important to the community, yes. But in the in reality of things, when you break it all down, it's really about a show. We believe in that. Another man, Peoples, once said to me, he says, a lot of people who are in the business, especially in, the, um, in white media, uh, it's like uh, an attitude of don't woke them, let them slip when it comes to our community. In other words, you don't play, uh, don't give them information shows, play a lot of music, keep them dancing, play some records, you know, put videos on TV, do that kind of thing. And they'll be happy with that. But no, we want more things than that. We want you to talk to me. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what's happening in the world. I want to know what's going on. I want to know whether I'm going to live or die when I wake up tomorrow morning. And well, on the note about whether or not you're going to live or die, we're going to take a, a quick break. Oh. This is Dr. Calfani. You're watching The Pulse. All right. Um, let's just dive right back in if, you, if you're ready. Yeah, we're yeah. Sweet here. Yeah. This is Rubio time. How are you doing? Go ahead and put it down for that. Yeah, get you a and cut, Ramon, did you cut? Did you get the chat back in No, you didn't. Uh, yeah, Marco Rubio moment. When you started to get tired, I'm doing it. I'm all talked out. Yeah. You need to make sure your angle. I am making sense of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I want to um, Anything else, you, anything yeah, particular you want to uh, tell people? Yeah, yeah. I want to give them something that this stuff to slay didn't say real quick. Okay. Uh, and, uh, Just give me a note so I can uh, prompt you. Um, black men. Being oh, taken yeah. serious and well, being able to talk about it. Yeah, I didn't want to say it. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we, we're, we're going to come back. We'll start with you this time. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, anything any particular you want to kind of... Uh, no. Just that, um, you know, we mm -hmm. try well, just to... We try to... Um, we try to uh, uh, step up the game as far as talk shows are concerned. Okay. Uh, we try, you know... So we'll address well, that. Where, where are you headed? You know, what's your, what's your legacy? What you want to build? There's something out here that I didn't answer, Bob answered, but he was talking about, he didn't use the word challenges, but it was basically, you know, as we prepare for the show. Mm -hmm. um, have, were there any issues, you know, out there? Because I, I, I believe there's a, a thin line. And sometimes people, are, for whatever reason, don't deal with certain topics because it may break, you bring on a controversial issue, it may cause problems at the radio station. Yeah. And I want to talk about how, uh, by when Open Line started, it, could, it was on 98.7 Kiss FM, and even though we were black formatted, we were white owned. Mm -hmm. It was a white owned company, mm -hmm. and how we were able to bring on controversial issues and management still back. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. That's okay. something. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to point about controversy yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. and legacy. Now, BLS is, is white owned now as well. Right, right. right. Uh, right. right. Yeah. No longer a black owned yeah. entity. Yeah. And um, remember, while you're gone, you, you've got this shot. So I'm, I'm sure you were, but I wasn't always noticing. But just make sure you've given them, yeah, give yeah, us right. cutting points. If we yeah, yeah, I did. I yeah, did. I did. Okay. All right. So we're going to dive back in here. Okay. All right, rolling cameras. Are you rolling? Hold on a minute. Uh, a little slack. A little slack. But yeah, in essence, it's really entertaining. Yeah. Well, we already call it info. Right, 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 right on their yeah. chest. Yeah. It's about right. Okay. Right. Right. Rolling, you roll. Great, yeah. bro. We're going. Well, welcome back, everybody. This is Dr. Kalfani. I'm right here on the pulse of what's going on in the African community. And you know, today we have some great folks here with us today. We have Brother Bob Slade. 
the one and only. And my friend, uh, Fatim Muhammad, we're missing the other two parts.